hi in this video we are going to discuss about the agile model in the previous video we have seen agile terminologies so based on that easily you can understand the agile model but first thing i am repeating again this model is mostly suitable for for the projects the requirements are frequently changing that type of projects it is more suitable that is the reason because nowadays no client is stick with the particular requirement whenever there is a he thinks that differently then obviously the requirements will be changed so when the requirements are keep on changing the previous models will not be suitable for that again we need to start from requirements phase to testing phase again and again whenever the requirements are uh, changing again we need to come from beginning to ending so it will take huge time to deliver the entire application to the client that is the reason they invented the agile model in the agile model easily we can adapt the changes and we can deliver it to the client whenever there is a requirements changes happen so that is the reason we need to go for agile model and in the agile model see this diagram so first project requirements we are calling them as what in agile model release backlog will be there from the release backlog we are going to prepare the our uh, sprint backlog will be prioritized by the product owner whatever the stories are there in release backlog and they will get it from the product backlog from the product backlog the release backlog will be decided for that particular release from the release backlog sprint backlog will be prioritized by the product owner and those stories currently we are going to work on it sprint means usually 2 to 4 weeks will be there but most of the cases 2 weeks will be there for the sprint duration in the 2 weeks we need to do the analysis design coding testing and delivery and every day we are going to have a daily stand up meeting so okay fine from the product backlog release backlog is ready and sprint backlog is ready stories who will prepare the stories stories will be prepared by the scrum master but it is prioritized by the product owner okay stories are allocated for that particular sprint next what high priorities or whoever is defined by the product owner those stories will be allocated for that particular sprint next one more terminology coming here tasks each and every story we need to create a task let, let me assume test the gmail login functionality is a one story for that story what is the effort of testing we need to prepare our scenarios we need to prepare our test cases we need to ready with our test data and we need to ask the development team to ready the environment if it is not ready these are all the various tasks from testing side we are going to add these all tasks to the that particular story for tracking tracking when all the tasks are completed then that story also completed from the testing side so task is something like the work what we are supposed to do for that particular story is a task okay fine okay we have added tasks for this story fine next what is going to happen once okay tasks are uh, added to that particular story next the development team will give the story demo that we can call as a onm also over net meeting okay in the real time so that onm overnight meeting it means story demo to the testing team why they need to why the development team need to give the demo to the testing team because if the story is not working if we accept testing team accepts for testing we are going to lose our time if the story is not working why to accept the story that is the reason development team for each and every story they will give demo to the testing team we need to accept it then only we will continue with the further testing on that particular story okay if we accepts the story based on the story demo then we will start the actual testing if everything is completed our testing anyway we are going to identify few bugs on it we will again send it back those bugs to the development team they will fix it again send it back to the testing team for testing so this process will continue until all the bugs closed if everything is working fine 
then we are going to give this print demo to the product owner and stakeholders okay this story we have tested this is how it is working if once they accepted it then we are going to send it to the live as I told you in the previous session one release may have n number of sprints let me assume one sprint is having three uh, one release is having three sprints sprint one need to complete sprint two sprint three and then the combined everything then it will goes into the live environment so live means production okay for example it went into the production next sprint retrospection what went well what went wrong in that sprint what are all the mistakes we have done in current sprint those mistakes we should not do again and again in the future sprints so it is something like lessons learnt what are all the lessons learnt in the current sprint that is nothing but sprint retrospection next next sprint again same story stories tasks again story demo again accept it same process will continue for all the sprints this is the entire process in agile model this is how it is going to work now you may get a doubt here where the sprint planning is going to happen see this some more detailed diagram you can able to see here requirements product owner what he will do prioritize scrum master what he is going to do stories he is going to create it team what is going to do tasks we are going to create next development people will give what story demo we are going to perform the testing on it if it is accepted we are going to do the testing on it and then UAT team will be there we are going to perform the testing UAT team they will perform the UAT testing and UAT people also confirms then we will give demo to the uh, product owner and stakeholders then it will went into the live next sprint retrospection that's it next we will continue with the next sprint so this is how the agile process is going to work in real time okay so before we are going to select the stories as i told you in the terminologies sprint planning meeting will happen every day uh, scrum meeting will be there and at the ending sprint retrospection meeting will be there in sprint retrospection product owner is optional scrum master and the entire team are going to involve uh, they are going to find out what went well what went wrong what are all the lessons learned in the current sprint so this is how the entire flow is going to happen in the agile model now come back to the interview questions what are all they may ask in the agile model each and everything the terminology whatever i explained is a interview question like what is a sprint planning meeting what is a sprint retrospection meeting what is going to discuss in scrum meeting what is story what is task what is release backlog what is product backlog what is sprint backlog what is the importance of story points to the each and every story what is our team's capacity what is our velocity who are all pigs who are all chickens and what is sprint demo or sprint review what is the responsibilities of a scrum master what is the responsibilities of a product owner and uh, and in the scrum meeting what are all the different things you are going to discuss like in the scrum meeting what are all we are discussing three things what work you have done from last scrum to today's scrum what is your tomorrow's plan what are all the issues you are facing so these are all the interview questions they may ask and the agile model what is your process this is the complete real time process what we are following let me repeat you again the process is very simple product owner will prioritize the requirements scrum master will create a stories and the entire scrum team will pick the stories for that particular sprint and in the sprint planning they will give the story points and then they will start, development people will start the development activity testing people will preparing their own scenarios and test cases for each and every story once the development is completed for example in the sprint two weeks duration first week three four days development completed and fifth day they are giving for testing we need to execute our test cases on it 
we need to identify the bugs they have to fix it again they're going to send it back to the testing team we will retest it again if there are no issues will be there in the middle what will happen before we are going to perform the testing sprint to demo the development people are going to give story demo sorry on the story demo if we accept it then only we will continue with the testing that we can call it as a onm also over net meeting and UAT, after us uit people also do their testing if everything is fine then we are going to give the uh, demo to the stakeholders and the product owner if they are also fine then that sprint code will go into the live at the end we are going to see the sprint retrospection meeting and we are going to discuss about what went well what went wrong what are all the lessons learned so this is the complete flow in agile process in real time i hope all the interview questions covered in this please try to understand the process this is the trending model nowadays most of the companies are using agile model for their projects because they feel that when there is a requirement change easily we can adapt it and we can test it so that is how the agile model process is going to work so that's all for this video thank you so much please like my channel and encourage me thank you